Music in the Space is the brand new Coldplay album released on the 15th of October 2021 to genuinely mixed reviews. But here's my review. Let's start off with the first song of the album. I know it's fast paced so far, but trust me, now we can calm down. First track is Saturn, which is just pretty much a transition song into Higher Power. It's a pretty decent transition and probably the best part of the Higher Power music video. Second of all, we move on to Higher Power. In my personal opinion, the worst song of the album. Well, the second worst song. Actually, yeah, the worst song. <laughs> yeah, the worst song, I'd say. Sure, it's synths and that are catchy, but the way they auto-tune the crap out of Chris Martin's vocals, probably more than were needed, just makes it sound so unnatural. I like the actual synths and that and how they were used, but the vocals just put me off the song. But past higher power, the album gets a lot nicer. Humankind is a mix of A Head Full of Dreams, and Marlowe's Alice with a tiny bit sprinkled in of Evil of Eda. It's one of the most natural sounding songs of the album because there's a lot of acoustics and I quite like the song, my second favourite of the album, behind one that we will get onto later. This song is a pretty decent transition into Alien Choir, which is given two stars as an emoji title most of the time, but its real name's Alien Choir. I can't be bothered finding the emoji, so I'm just going to call it Alien Choir. For a, tran for a song that's only just transitioned and not even a minute long, it's a banger in my eyes. But I'm not going to spend too much detail on it because it is literally only a minute. So I think we shall move on to our next song. One of two major collabs on the album. I mean, there technically is a third, but we'll get onto that later. Which is technically second chronologically in the album order. But the most major is the last collab on the album. But we'll get onto that another time. Let's just focus on this one with Selena Gomez, which was technically released as a single on like Spotify, but I don't think there's any like physical copies yet. But there might be in the future. Let somebody go. It's um a great breakup song. The lyrics are actually really nice. And um Chris and Selena Gomez's voices fit well. Um another banger on the album. Trust me, it got a lot better from Higher Power. Speaking of collabs, we've got one with Jacob Collier and a group called We Are King with Human Heart, which was performed at Glastonbury, I think it was, and, the, and was the first Music of the Sphere song to be performed live. And it wasn't even released as a single. I think a lot of us thought it was going to be. And um, a lot of us thought it was going to be Ghost Stories like, but it just wasn't. It's a good song, though. A really good song, actually. And the lyrics are probably the best in the entire album. Big statement there, but it's a banger. People of the Pride is my favourite song of the album, and if you are now that you know that it's my favourite song of the album, if you wanted to listen to it for whatever reason, it'll be at the end cards at the end of this video, including the video where I'm getting this background footage from, which is one of my train journeys. But People of the Pride is by far my favourite song, and um, no, it's pretty much a finish off of the demo of The Man Who Swears A Lot, which was written during the Viva era, which is why it's got rocking and feels completely out of place with the relatively pop synthy rest of the album, but it's nice to get some rock in there. I mean, obviously, I'll always prefer rock over pop, and that's why I prefer a rush of bloods to the head over a head full of dreams, basically. But, you know. So it's not exactly um, the LGBTQ community, of course, but it's still a good song, and it sounds very Muse-like. It sounds a bit like a dodgy version of Psycho from Drones, but I'm okay with that. Muse is my favourite band. Beautiful is, funnily enough, one of the most beautiful songs in the album, in my opinion. With that weird robotic-like voice that was also in Cry, Cry, Cry off Everyday Life. Um, you wouldn't be surprised to know that this was supposed to be on Everyday Life, but is on Music of the Spheres now. It's a beautiful song, and um, I like how Chris Martin's vocals are with the weird robot thingies vocals. And it just sounds blissful, in my opinion. Beautiful song... But let's move on to the next one. Still don't know why beautiful is spelled in the way it is, but you know. This song is just the merger of my universe. It's just the crowds cheering and a weird secret message, which if you play the song in reverse says something like, hello, and a, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Music of the Spheres. Remember we're all an alien somewhere. I think it says something like that. Then it merges into my universe. The third collab and arguably the most famous of the album. My universe, the BTS collaboration. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it because you probably know what it's roughly about and what it roughly sounds like. But what I will say is that I'm no BTS stan, but the song's decent. I'll give it to them. Infinity Sign 
it's pretty much instrumental, but it's, they just add so much more stuff to it, but it doesn't sound like a mess, and the build-ups to adding that stuff is absolutely incredible. You know when stuff is going to be added in from the first time they added the drums to the actual electronic music. It's a lovely song, and definitely one of the most underrated off the album. But f at last, we're on to the last song. The album's only half an hour so far long, but that's about a change. Coloratura is the only promotional single released in um, Music of the Spheres. You can tell that in the um, cover work, just being the album's cover work. But it's a banger. 10 minutes and 18 seconds is how long it is. But those 10 minutes and 18 seconds do not feel as long as they actually are because of all the instruments and the electronics they use and the lyrics being really good. It's an absolute banger and probably one of the best songs musically they've produced since Viva La Vida. It may not be my favourite of the album, but it's definitely not far at all behind, um, what's it called, People of the Pride. And it's well ahead of my third place, Beautiful. If you want more album reviews, then subscribe and uh, request them, because I might do more. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you whenever.